Hi guys, it's me Sabby. In today's video, I'm gonna turn myself into Beetlejuice, and I will be reading The Wolf Girl. And I also hope I'm not really boring you with these videos. I just thought it was a cute idea, so hopefully you enjoy my stories. If you do, let me know in the comments below. All right, let's get started. The Wolf Girl. Travel northwest to the desert of Del Rio, Texas, and eventually you will come to the Devil's River. In the 1830s, a trapper named John and his wife Molly uh, settled where the dry creek runs into the Devil's River. John was after beaver, which was the plentiful there. He and Molly built a cabin of bush near uh, near it as they put their arbor to give the shade. Molly Dent became pregnant. When she was ready to have the child, John Dent raced on horseback to their neighbor several miles away. My wife is having a baby, he said to the man. <clears throat> Can you help us? They agreed to come at once. As soon as they got there, a violent storm came up, and bolts of lightning struck and killed John Dent. The man and his wife managed to find a cabin, but did not arrive until the next day. By then, Molly Dent was dead, too. It looked as if she had given birth before she died, but the neighbors could not find the baby. Since they were wolf tracks around, they decided the wolves had eaten it and buried Molly Dent and left. A number of years later, after she died, people began to tell a strange tale. Some swore it was a true story. Others said it could never happen. The story begins in a small settlement dozens of miles from Molly Dent's grave. Early one morning, a pack of wolves came to the desert and killed some goats. Such attack is not unusual these days. But boy thought he saw a naked young girl with long blonde hair running through the wolves. A year or two later, a woman came upon some wolves eating goats they had killed. Eating a goat with them, she claimed she saw a naked little girl with young, long blonde hair. The wolves and the girl saw saw her, and they fled. Uh, the woman said the first sight, the girl ran out on four. She stood and ran like human-like, swiftly as the wolves. People started wondering if this wolf girl was Molly Den's daughter. He had a mother of a wolf who carried her off one day and she was born and raised with the pups. If so, by now, she'd be like 11 years old. As the story is told, some man was began to look for the girl. They searched along the river banks in the desert and the canyons, as one day they said they found her walking in the canyon with a wolf by her side. With the wolf ran off and the girl hid in the canyon walls. When the man tried to capture her, she fought back, biting and scratching like an animal. When they finally subbed her, she began screaming like a frightened young girl and howling like a frightened young wolf. Her capturers bound her with a rope and put her across the horse and took her to a small ranch house in the desert. They would turn her over to the sheriff. The next day, they decided they placed her in an empty room, and then the terror-stricken, she hid in the shadows. They left her door locked. Soon she was screaming and howling again. The men thought that they would go mad listening to her, but at last she stopped. When night fell, the wolves began howling in the distance. People say that each time they stopped, the girl howled in reply. The story goes... The cries of the wolves came from every direction and got closer and closer. Suddenly, as a signal was being given off, wolves attacked the horses and the other livestock. The men rushed in the darkness, firing guns. High up in the wall in the room where they had left the girl was a small window. A plank nailed across it. She pulled the plank off and crawled through the window and disappeared. Years passed. No word of the girl. Then one day, some men on horseback came around in the bend of Rio Grande, not too far from the Devil's River. They claimed they saw a young woman with long blonde hair feeding two wolf pups. When she saw the man, she snatched the pups and ran to the bush and rode off to her, but she quickly left them behind. They searched and searched, but no trace of her. The last we know of the wolf girl, and there is there in the desert near Rio Grande, and that's how the story ends.